This presentation covers partnerships. The first part, which is the formation and operation when you are just establishing a partnership. First of all, let's look at the definition of a partnership, which is an association of two or more persons to carry on a business as co-owners for profit. This is part of Section 6 of the Uniform Partnership Act. Partnership provides limited amount of equity disclosure in individual capital accounts accumulated for every partner or every class. So if you were looking at the balance sheet for a partnership, you would not see retained earnings, you would not see common stock, additional paid in capital, all you would see would be capital accounts. Balance measures each partner or group's interest in the book value of the net assets. Does not differentiate between sources of ownership capital, which means it doesn't show you how much was contributed, how much was drawn, or how much is associated with the profitability of the company. Equity section of the balance sheet composed solely of the capital accounts affected by contributions from the distribution to partners, earnings, and equity transactions. Now let's look at preparing journal entries to record the initial capital investment by a partner. What we will cover. How do you account for the start of a partnership? What happens when one partner provides money and the other assets? What if one provides expertise and the other cash? If the partners each contribute cash and other assets, you debit cash and contributed assets at fair value. Credit individual partner capital account. So this is an example of what the journal entry would look like. Now, what ends up happening sometimes is that somebody may have expertise or somebody might have land or equipment they want to contribute. So how do we handle that? Well, we have two methods we can use. One is called the bonus method, and the other is the goodwill method. And we use the either one of these to record a partner's capital investment. Intangible assets such as expertise require special consideration. Again, we have two approaches. The bonus method recognizes only tangible assets. There's no revaluation, i.e. creation of goodwill. The goodwill method values tangible and intangible assets, goodwill and revaluation, also known as the revaluation method. Well, on 2-15-17, Mike and Dan form a partnership. They agree to equal capital balances. Mike contributes $80,000 and Dan contributes land valued at $40,000 and brings years of experience to the new business. What is the journal entry to set up this partnership using the bonus method? Well, first we record the tangible assets, which would be the cash and the fair value of the land. Then we adjust the partner capital balances to reflect the relative value of the intangible asset. And in this case, it would be Dan's expertise. So total tangible assets for the partnership are 80,000 plus 40 equals 120. The partners have agreed to have equal capital balances based on the contributed assets. Even though Dan only contributed land worth $40,000, essentially Mike has given Dan a $20,000 bonus. So let's take a look at these journal entries. We would work the cash at 80, the land at 40, and then we would take the total of 120 and divide it equally between Mike and Dan. This is called the bonus method. Now, what happens instead if we use the goodwill method? So again, on 2-15-2017, Mike and Dan form a partnership. They agree to equal capital balances. Michael contributes $80,000, Dan contributes land valued at $40,000, and brings years of experience to the business. What is the journal entry to set up this partnership using the goodwill method? First, we have to record the tangible assets contributed, and then we have to figure out what the intangible asset, which is the difference between the tangible assets and the implied value of the partnership. First, we need to determine the implied value of the partnership. So we're going to take Mike's contribution of 80,000 
divide by his percentage ownership of 50, which tells us the total value of the partnership is 160,000. Next, we're going to determine the goodwill. Implied value of the partnership is 160. The tangible contribution is 120. So we have goodwill attributed to Dan of 40,000. Now we can do our journal entry. So we're going to first journalize the tangible cash and the intangible, the difference, which is our goodwill. So Mike's capital account is credited for the tangible contribution of 80, and Dan's capital account is credited for the tangible contribution of 40 and the intangible contribution of 40, and goodwill is recorded. And this is what the journal entry would look like. Now that covers what happens when you initially start a partnership.